Hi friends, um, Miss BG here. So I have another writing read aloud and it is the alphabet Leo Leone. Leo Leone is the author and illustrator. So he wrote the words and he drew the pictures. And this is going to help us recognize what is the difference between a letter, a word, in a sentence. We are working on practicing what is a complete sentence and this is going to give us an idea of how we can create complete sentences. So this is the alphabet tree by Leo Leone. Your learning target is to recognize the difference between a letter, a word, and a complete sentence. This is the alphabet tree, said the ant. Why is it called the alphabet tree? Asked his friend. Because not so long ago, this tree was full of letters. They lived a happy life, hopping from leaf to leaf on the highest twigs. Each letter had its favorite leaf where it would sit in the sun and rock in the gentle breeze of spring. One day the breeze became a strong gust and the gust became a gale. So the wind is getting stronger and stronger. The letters clung to the leaves with all their might, all their strength, but some were blown away and the others were very frightened. When the storm had passed, they huddled together in fear, deep in the foliage of the lower branches. So foliage is all the leaves, so they're all huddled together. A funny bug, red and black, with bright yellow wings, saw them there, hiding in the shade. We are hiding from the wind, the letters explained. But who are you? I am the word bug, the bug answered. I can teach you to make words. If you get together in threes and fours, and even more, no wind will be strong enough to blow you away. So the word bug is telling the letters to get together in order to stay strong so the wind cannot blow them away. Patiently, he taught the letters to join together and make words. Ooh, friends, what words do you see? I see bug, cat, leaf, tree, me. Mm. I notice that those words, the letters are put in an order that makes sense so that we can read them. That's what I noticed. Some made short and easy words like dog and cat. Others learned to make more difficult ones like twig, leaf, and even earth. Happily, they climbed back onto the highest leaves, and when the wind came, they held on without fear. The word bug had been right. The wind was not strong enough to blow away the letters when they were made into words. Then, one summer morning, a strange caterpillar appeared amid the foliage. It was purple, woolly, and very large. Such confusion, said the caterpillar, when he saw the words scattered around the leaf. Why don't you get together and make sentences and mean something? Said the caterpillar. So the words are not in an order that makes sense, the caterpillar is saying. The letters had never thought of this. Now they could write and say things. 
They said things about the wind, the leaves, the bug. Good, said the caterpillar approvingly, but not good enough. Why, asked the letter, surprised. Because you must say something important, said the caterpillar. It says the wind is bad, leaves are green, the bug is small. Words mean something when they're put in an order that makes sense. The letters tried to think of something really important. Finally, they knew what to say. What could be more important than peace? Peace on earth and goodwill towards all. They spelled excitedly. Great, said the caterpillar. Now climb onto my back. One by one, the letters climbed onto the woolly back. But where are you taking us? They asked anxiously. The caterpillar began to climb a tree. To the president, said the caterpillar. The end. So friends, you'll recognize that in the book, the letters needed to be in an order that makes sense to make a word, and then the words needed to be in an order that makes sense to make a sentence. So today, for activity on Seesaw, what you will do is you will sort letters, words, and sentences. So when I say sort, I mean put into the correct categories. So you will have three columns. One column will be for letters, one column will be for words, and one column will be for sentences. And then you will write a complete sentence about yourself. And you will do this by using the complete sentence framework. And a complete sentence is capital letter to start, that's star one. Finger spaces in between our words, star two. Three is sight words spelled correctly. And four is ending punctuation. Make sure your sentences have all four of those things. And you can start your sentence by saying, I you might share something you like to do or what you're excited to do over the winter break. Okay, friends, please return to Seesaw to complete your activity.